low youtubers so I ne never understood why after Germany was defeated the Americans insisted on attacking Japan just because they were allied, allied with them never seemed uh, a logical explanation so unfortunately the truth will come to us if we want him want it so let's take a look at what uh, the Japanese created Cr the Japanese have a lot of uh, interesting things on uh, magnets new magnets basically they were the creators of new magnets I think was this guy I think it was this guy yeah yeah this was the guy that invented the neodymium magnets and this guy also Japanese which uh, very interesting invention here magnetic record sheet a method of forming signal record track comprising of uh, spiral signal track loops magnetic tape very interesting these guys and another interesting thing that I found out take a look at this propaganda video about the world war let's listen Ooh, let me check just this I forgot if my audio yes it is okay so let's listen to this March 1938 Hitler invades Austria the Third Reich begins to flex its military muscle later that year German scientists discover fission of the uranium nucleus bringing the Third Reich one step closer to discovering the secret of the atomic bomb Fear of German research stimulated activity in the United States and England. Fear that German scientists could produce weapons of great devastation. In the fall of 1939, Dr. Albert Einstein wrote his now famous letter to Zionist President Roosevelt, explaining bucket. the urgency of work on uranium fission. Roosevelt, a man of action, moved swiftly. An advisory committee on uranium was appointed. German forces invade Poland, plunging the nations of Europe into a second world war. Mm, interesting, they never developed an atomic bomb, but as soon as the war ended, they created the Manhattan Project full of Zionists and invented the atomic bomb, the fear porn. Just to hide what I think, it's my theory, I cannot prove it, but uh, I think they are hiding the real source of free energy. Because let's take a look uh, what happens to a, a magnet and some radioactive uh, material, thorium. Listen, let's listen to this video. Ever so slightly dangerous, a large vial of tritium like that is no bueno. So here, I'm going to show you this. This is another rod of radioactive tritium, but I'm going to try to show you if my camera can sh let you see it. Let me place it. Oops, I hit the camera. Hold on a second. I can show you here. I can zoom in and bring the camera just a wee bit closer. You'll actually see blue light. You got, I'm, I've got my head right next to the camera. You'll actually see a very slight blue haze forming around the plane of inertia where the tritium is being released inside the ionized water and if I place it this way you can actually see it except it's polarized perpendicular to the plane of inertia this is faint blue glow let me get this other tritium rod out of the way so you can see it better hope to god you can see it better and that's Chernikov 
Cherenkov radiation. And you can look this up. So you see, freedom creates an energy release as it approaches the plane of inertia. And interesting that they use also graphite in the nuclear uh, reactors. So it pops up three questions. Did the World War also was about technology of free energy that the Germans were discovering and they had to invent the fear porn of the, the atomic bomb to avoid people from the truth because I've seen a lot of videos out there no, I saw a documentary of a guy eating uranium and all this stuff and he lived to his uh, 90, 89 I think and then another, another Japanese guy did the same and lived and died of a natural cause no radiation poisoning so I also saw a video of uh, an uh, Iranian mine where people went in, in and came out feeling good so something is not correct here something is not adding up and it's interesting to see this information out there so connect the dots and see what is reality because this uh, nuclear bombs and stuff doesn't add up pretty good so I share this idea of mine hope you enjoyed peace